Hey there, YouTube. We are the hosts of the How to Decorate podcast. I'm Caroline. I'm Taryn. And I'm Liz. And today we're going to be answering some questions about living room layouts that were submitted on Instagram. So we have our questions here and we're just going to get started. Stay tuned. Are y'all ready? Yeah, let's do it. Okay. <laughs> My turn. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh. Okay. Living room layout. Huh. Ooh, oh, math. Oh. This is math. Don't, don't <laughs> math me. Don't math me. How do I arrange furniture in a living room? TV and couch are off center from each other. I, I'm confused by what that means by like the TV and the couch are off center from each other. I mean, couldn't you move the couch to be centered on the TV? But I don't know that that really matters. The point is with a long living room, how do you arrange furniture? Right. Um, you have to break it into sections. You have, you have to have zones. Zones. For sure. Zones um, is a great way to think about it. So think of like your TV zone. Okay, you've got your sofa and your TV and like maybe some mm -hmm. chairs or whatever you need mm -hmm. to be comfortable, ottoman, coffee table. And then mm -hmm. maybe you have another zone that's like two chairs and an mm -hmm. ottoman for like a reading area or like drinking coffee having if you have one friend over for coffee mm -hmm. yeah you um, could do a game table you could do a desk mm -hmm. up against again table. to the back of a sofa so again you're kind of making that line of like this is the next zone mm -hmm. and you know, if the sofa is off center from the tv maybe there needs to be a comfy chair that helps balance the the mm -hmm. weight of that yeah. off center so when you walk into the room you're not feeling that it's off center. Where does the darn TV go? Wherever you can see it. That's important. And you're not straining your neck. A lot of people are putting them up higher, like above a fireplace. And that's mm -hmm. good if that's the, where you can see it and that's comfortable for everybody. Mm -hmm. yeah, you got to be realistic. However you live, yeah. there is no rule. Every designer has said that the realistic part is we all have TVs. You yeah. put it what's best. They have beautiful frame TVs now. You just do the best Don't you can to, to make it. it. It's okay. Yeah. Yeah. And my thing is always, I've said this a million times, put something else on the wall with the TV that is attractive mm -hmm. to look at. And that's all. Like, you want something over there so that when the TV's off, there's something nice. Yeah. But it doesn't have to be hidden. Yeah. You don't have to conceal it. You know, it's like kind of, we know it's in there. And we also know that frame TV is not an actual picture, but it's, you know. Right. One step. It's nice. It's, yeah, it's something okay. else to look at instead of. How do you decorate a somewhat narrow living room to make it look wider? Go. Wider. Um, a striped rug. Mm, I was going to go back That's to the really zones. Good. Put stuff on the wall. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, make yeah. sure you've got art. Make sure you've got a tall bookcase. Make sure you have drapes on the edges. Yeah. So creating kind of places for your eye to kind of go into the room. Yeah, and, and to around. This, yeah, if you're trying to get make it look wider. I never want anything to look wider. <laughs> <laughs> How do you style a coffee table? Okay, mm -hmm. do you have a formula for for this? I go tray. I go tray that collects, but I like everything kind of stacked in there pretty. A tray is a great place to start. Yes, I like a tray. Because then it can corral things that are mm -hmm. smaller. Mm -hmm. I love books. I love a I'll, stack of books. I'll stack books and then put a sit about or a candy dish i i kind of love a candy dish is it the strawberry books. candies inside no it depends on what corner of the house you might find chocolates in one room and peppermints in another and mm. um toffees and oh my god it's a candy land Come over on there. Over. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but i do i do love i do love a candy dish okay on so top a candy of, dish on top, top of. okay a candle i feel like is a, a good candle's a easy. good one something small and like a faux plant, I don't know, like moss balls or something. One big tray on my okay. ottoman, but it usually doesn't See? have anything See, that's why it. I like the big tray. So however, whatever you need for your need. Again, sounds yeah. like Caroline likes less. Liz yeah. has adorable things with chocolates. Have, so yeah. a good tray, I think, is just a no-brainer. Yeah. Okay, I really wanted a light tan leather couch in our family room, but I'm not convinced it can withstand normal wear and tear. What is a good visually comparable color sturdy alternative? Leather is like really durable. That's pretty... Taryn can't get rid of her leather couch because like, it's so preach, durable. Preach to the choir. I would need it to be ruined. Uh, for years I did. I say uh, if you want it, go for it. Because it is going to be 
It is going to be durable. Yeah. All you can do is get one of the performance velvets of a camel. Like for something, again, you want that visual warm kind of like feeling tone, of like a different of texture. Mm-hmm. Um, that would give you tone and texture, which is what you're getting from leather. And it would give you, again, a little functionality if it's performance velvet. Um, but to match, you know, like leather is leather. It's It does character, yes. But like I, I don't think anyone's ever looked at leather and been like, Ew, gross. Unless you looked at my sofa, which was just puffy and marshmallowy, brown, dark brown. Okay, I do feel like the thing that does kind of turn me off a little bit from the leather is only, um, it's like when you're breaking in like a pair of white shoes or something where like it's the initial... so perfect and then you get that first scuff and you're like, oh my God, this looks terrible. Yeah. But yeah. So I feel like the, the leather, like maybe in the first year would be a yeah. little scary because you are going to get nicks. Yeah. And little mm-hmm. Im- you are. blemishes you are um yeah because i have okay so i have the Hartwell leather sofa and um i love and ours yeah it's it's really really lovely and it's cozy and it's my coffee place for sunday mornings um but i also have two cats that jump around and there are there are scratches on it and yeah but that's okay and like you still love it right i still love yeah. it i still love it i mean they're not tearing it up but like it gets a little Okay, they, well, what about, like, spills and stuff? Gulp. We haven't had any. Mm. But, I mean, it, I would imagine it's just wipeable. I, I, I would imagine that it is. Yeah, I used, le- all those years, mine, the leather cleaner was, like, the yeah. only thing I used uh, on it. Yeah. And it, like, yeah, kept that thing going for years. <laughs> I need to trust me it had everything on it you name it because senior dog babies like it had everything on it Mm -hmm. it it looked great I do need to get some like leather oil for it because like Mm -hmm. and you know and just kind of we've had it now for three years and so now I'm like okay I've looked away at the scratches and now I need to Mm -hmm. go in and kind of like Buff it with some it, good. Yeah. But that was like with your leather boots, you know, yeah. right? You have like your leather conditioner. Yeah. Oh my gosh, right? It. I feel like we should not expect our rooms to look like brand new. Yeah, it's just an impractical. Yeah, expectation of yourself and take a deep breath, keep living. It's okay. Yeah. The leather's good. Your it's a good choice. Eating Cheetos yes. on it, it is good maybe, choice. but Cheetos are fine on leather. See, that's just another reason. Yeah. <laughs> I've tested that one. I think right, Cheetos are, are not allowed in our house. They're like my absolute nightmare. Whoa. Well, your right? kids can come to my house for do Cheetos. You not, do you really buy Cheetos on purpose? <laughs> Absolutely. On purpose? Yes. We love Cheetos. Yeah. Cheetos every day. I can't tell if you're kidding or are not. You, are you really a Cheetos I mean, every day? I the white cheddar brand or like, but <laughs> oh so God, it's a little bit better than the orange, but yeah, we eat Cheetos all the time. I mean, you know, there are lots of snacks. <laughs> Just I mean, it's fair. Yeah, I mean, hand a napkin. Hand, hand a napkin. Yeah. How do you determine the amount of furniture you need in the living room and how much spacing to give them? Ooh, I feel like this one's on the blog. Well, we do have a post about how to space furniture. It's probably a lot less than you think, like the spacing needed. Mm-hmm. Um, but I think how much furniture do you need for your I- living room? I would say how many people do you want to sit? How mm-hmm. much do you have space for? Mm-hmm. I mean... That's your formula right there. Yeah. yeah. I think you, again, we've said this so many times, but you put your dimensions in the planner and you just look, right? Like I have to have a sofa because we have four people that live in the house and I yeah. need to have two chairs as well that face the TV. And then again, can I put a console with X benches? We've talked about this. Do I put an ottoman in the middle so yeah. people can lay? Like, what are you doing in there? You just got to think about how you live. Yeah. I mean, I think the room planner is easy. I mean, the first maybe you need a sectional but minimum you need a sofa and two chairs yeah i, would I mean say that's right if you do a sectional that's different but like yeah i feel like every room start with a sofa and two chairs okay that's our show so don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel if you want to see more videos like this one and also go to your favorite podcast app and find the how to decorate podcast with the pink chair subscribe and leave a review and until next time happy, happy decorating, decorating. That was too perfect.